So I'm just gonna lower the volume on this and uh, put up some subtitles. I'm for sorry, you. I have to make this video. Women, what the f You have to get out to vote. Why are people f Get there and vote. Are you f insane? What happened? That Trump is okay for you! That that's okay! People are clearly telling you that we don't want that. We don't want it. <sighs> That's only a matter of caring about yourself to care about other people. You're f I'm listening to the, these people talk about how they're trying to convince people to pay attention. What do people think everything that they're doing right now is connected to? And what is, are they wrong? Is everyone going to go and vote? And then, these pundits are just saying, we're talking to people and they're, they don't even know it. You get these street interviews where they're walking up to people and people on the street, one after another after another, don't know shit. I don't think they have to wait long out there, these comedy shows with their microphone to, to get funny, dumb, What, what happened? Did, did, what happened? The empathy gene gone? I, I'm just not sure what it was that made this giant group of people do this and say this is fine. Stop because somebody is getting away with destroying it and there's no way you can stop it. Nothing you can do. So every day is going to be this f***ed up nightmare of what the f are they going to do to me today? They did this. They're doing that. This is happening. This is f***ed. It's not being looked at to be fixed. This is what they want. Our rights are gone. If, if we don't have one, we don't have them all. If we're not whole, we're not whole. I don't care how much is gone. Oh, uh, do you have no arm or no arm and no leg? I need to know. F you! That's my f***ing right. That sounded like Roseanne Barr. F*** you! F*** you! It's my body, the whole thing. I don't care what, how much you want to like pick at it and dig at it with your little f tools and microscopes or whatever the f*** you're doing. Get out of, get out of there! And everyone, women, get out there and f What are you, what, what is going on? What is going, what are you sitting and just saying, nah, it, you know, you know what's right. You, then you do. And then you can have your feelings. But you base your decision on what's right. You about how you feel about it. You have deduced and concluded through rational, common sense thinking, what is right. After that, you can have feelings about it. And Women, I don't know if I'm going to release this because this is an insane tirade in my car that I was doing before I turned this thing on and I am afraid all this to come out somewhere in a fight with somebody or I'm gonna just I don't know get depressed or hold it in or whatever the repercussions of not screaming what the f just for a little bit here get out there get out there and vote that's all I can say I, are my thoughts done on this I don't even know I'm trying to explain to a f no die. who oh sorry every day of our lives it's a, is it doom and gloom i mean the thing is it is because if they're even slightly right about what they're saying about people not paying attention and not doing what they're supposed to do out there uh women what are you thinking <laughs> there is no you know what is right I mean, what is going on?
this is a very clear good guy, evil guy, good guy, bad guy, that kind of thing. Uh, whether we want evil in charge of anything, you know, this, these aren't hard thoughts and they're agreed upon and it's, you're letting rational reality go in hopes of what? Well, while you do that, you're torturing everybody else. It's not your job to uh, got, and let your feelings guide your push for, for laws that take away our rights and laws that hurt people and rules that change for the worse. It's turning back our clock. We are trying to evolve. We're trying to grow. And causing pain is never the answer. You can't stand on a platform and say that's the answer. So what? Too bad. So what? Says Trump. So what? It's not so what. Every life matters. Mine does. Fuck you. Uh, that's what. So what? Go, go, you know, back to your playpen. It always comes down to him. He's a child. You and what you want and your feelings. That's it. I think I'm good. I'm done. Looking at a rainbow flag right now. Nope, that's even a multi pride flag right now. There you go. Absolutely. Fuck in. Vote, guys. Vote, ladies. I don't know what to say. I'm just going to put this on YouTube. Like, vote, I guess. Vote early. Vote by mail. Just go and look up where people vote, where you are. Uh, I put it in my town, Massachusetts, and then my town, then my zip code. Where do I, zip code's important. Where do I go to, walk to usually, within a quarter mile usually, maybe six miles to drive for some. It'll come up, this is your voting, this is your voting place, go there. And if you don't know if you're registered, call the, uh, just look up, go to look up your license registry social security that'll lead you everywhere they got you they got your number you can find out anything about what they have on you through that and you're just your town your address and then you'll get there voting google google do it it's right there and and really easy some have made it easy i mean i don't know what's going on in red states all right give it a shot do it if you can't you can't but the ones that are I'm hearing about that just won't or don't care, I, this is, somebody kick those in the ass that are sitting around doing that. Just kick them a little bit in the ass. All right, thanks. Uh, thanks, have a lovely day and uh, vote. It's rough. We've got some pent up rage about it. It's just my own fault from watching political stuff every day and seeing the progression of how these things go in the news in general. It's almost like their mindset has a lot to do with it. Mindset on the country of their, it's all nostalgia, their people's past what they see is the future, how they see whether they've been duped, uh, misled, lied to in the past, duped, misled, lied to right to their face, which is better. I don't know. They have to get over it. There's right and wrong, you know, that's the only thing. You can't have that. It, it's not gonna go your way. It's not gonna go. It's gonna be innocent people being told they're, Guilty of crimes being thrown in jail or guilty people being told they're innocent and being let out to hurt people. It's not the way to go if you want to say, well, I can't trust anybody, so I might as well trust the liar telling me he's a liar. Because either way, you can catch a liar, you can know the truth, and you'll find it happens a lot more with, the, with this liar that you love so much.
like you're, you just float on it but you know you're gaslit you know like I'll snap out of it and obviously you know this this is all a bunch of bullshit and that's why you get these I get these bursts of rage almost because it's like fuck you you've been gaslighting me I've been living with it and taking it and taking it week after week because what are you gonna do freak out every time but it's enough it gets to be enough you hear it and then there's a pause and then you hear it again and it's like that's enough that's enough I already said I won't fight you every time on that but you're gaslighting out of me right now I think that's where a lot of that comes from.